she's going to pay. That, that lets me know you don't know female nature. It ain't even like, okay, your dick is amazing. You dicked her down before and she just sprung. Like, you don't even know this girl. So she can get there and the sex could be whack. I told him, I said, King, you shaming girls and trying to make girls feel bad for what they're, they're doing on a dating app, what they're sp supposed to do. That's what the dating app is there for. You know, half you guys will say you know female nature are bitter and angry at women, which lets me know you don't know female nature. Go read The Way of the Superior Man. You can't be angry at something behaving what's in their nature. Let me repeat that. You can't be angry as something that is behaving what's in their nature. And what this means is I would never be angry at a dog for walking on four legs. Why would I? I would never be angry at a newborn baby for crying. Men do what they want. Boys do what they can. Salute, Kings. A lot of you can't say y'all understand female nature, but then y'all turn around and judge women and try to make women feel bad for certain things of that said nature. I had a guy email me and he emailed me a dating app conversation that he had with a woman. The conversation starts with him basically telling her he wants to travel. She's saying she's willing to travel with him to get her a ticket. Oh, I can't, I don't remember. I think he might have initiated saying he would get her a ticket. Then he proceeds while in the conversation, at the beginning of this conversation, to tell her he can't wait to eat her out, right? Validation, this is just beta all together. As the conversation proceeds, he asks her, can she pay for her own ticket? Her being a modern day typical woman, she proceeds to tell him no, she don't mess with dudes who can't buy her a ticket. He proceeds to get upset, tell her he needs a girl who can pay half or pay her own ticket, and they're going back and forth. From jump, she was very upfront. She let him know that she wants to be flown out basically her vagina's for sale without you know saying it up front but basically saying it up front and he's giving her a whole rant a whole paragraph on how women are these days and that's messed up that she expects him to pay for a ticket and if they're mutually feeling each other she should better get her own ticket so i sent him a message you know i replied to his message excuse me and let him know like honestly i'm on her side you know how you behave which i didn't know it was him initially i just thought he was just sending me like an interaction between two individuals to show me so I'm like, how the guy in the messages behave was beta because First off, he started off by telling this stranger he doesn't even know he can't wait to eat her. Like, that's that's a no-no. You know, like, you putting your lips on somebody you don't even know, King. Then he, it's even worse when he told me he was talking to the chick on a dating app. See, I thought it was like a DM of like a you Instagram DM or something. No, he was talking to the chick off a dating app. So anyway, I proceeded to tell him, you know, the guy in the messages is behaving beta because what do he expect? Why does he have these so much high expectations for a woman he doesn't even know? A stranger, a woman he's comfortable with telling he can't wait to eat her out but he's upset that she has a qualification of him paying to do said sexual activity the point i'm trying to make is how do you say you understand female nature but you're holding her to a standard in your mind of how you feel she should behave all while behaving how you want to behave you don't have no problem with telling her you want to eat her out and you're gonna eat her out when you see her you don't even know this girl but the moment she don't have a problem telling you i need to be paid i need to be compensated or i need you to fly me out at least oh yeah women nowadays you know you're in your feelings so so, you know, he tells me, oh, nah, you got it all wrong. You know, me and the woman, she she actually reached out to me first. She likes me. She met me on a, you know, she basically matched with me or liked me on a day nap. So then I began to tell him, well, when you know female nature, you know that women are only on day naps for two things. They're only on day naps for two reasons. The first reason is to have sex with guys, just like you're on there to have sex with women. They're on there to have sex with guys. Even the ones that say looking for a relationship, look for something serious, they're on there to have sex with guys. Those women just do not want to be judged for why they're on there, which is to hook up. Plain and simple. And even if she was, let's say, looking for a relationship, she's going to hook up with guys until she finds someone who will take her serious, hopefully, right? Which would be the simp, which she won't have interest in anyway. So she'll be right back on there looking again. But that's another topic for another time. And the second reason is validation and attention. And we're going to add money onto that. So the first half is she's looking to get dug out. The second half is validation, attention, or money. Plain and simple. These women have made a career out of this. They find guys, they find sugar daddies, they find simps, they find tricks to pay their bills, to send them money, right? And a lot of these women are sex workers. They will meet up with you and give you sex as well. But then you have the ones, like I said, who are just seeking the validation, they're seeking attention. So if you understand female nature, you would already know this. So you would know if you're engaging with a female on that term, a complete stranger who's willing to come to see you to let you eat her out, then she's gonna want something out the deal. And you may say, well, me eating her out is something out the deal. Dude, she got a million dudes telling her the same thing. The difference between them and you is it's a lot of simps and beta males 
thousand tricks out there that is willing to pay to fly her out to do that. You're just one of the guys who want to do it for free. And this is what I was explaining to him in a DM. And, you know, I wasn't calling him beta. I was saying that situation in which he stated that was beta. You know, I don't know him well enough to call him that. But he got offended a little bit. And then he went on a rant on how, you know, this video of what beta male and alpha male really mean, a beta and alpha and all this. But he don't know who I am as a person to where I don't care, King. I don't care. You can show me a dictionary description. I go off what beta and alpha means to me. Plain and simple. I don't care. So if I feel you be behave beta, I'm going to tell you, you behave beta. If I feel that was an alpha move, you behave alpha. Plain and simple. I don't care about what you're telling me about wolves and I don't care about none of that shit. You telling a woman you will eat her out will never be alpha. A sh Let me rephrase that. You telling a stranger you just met that you will eat her out will never be alpha in my eyes. So it's just what it is. That was beta. That was a beta move. Like I said, I'm not calling you beta. You just behave beta. And that was a beta statement to be willing to fly this girl out that you don't know off a day nap to eat her out. Or she fly herself out and you eat her out. But it's still like, why are you validating her like that, King? First of all, you shouldn't be putting your lips on somebody, but to each his own that you don't even know. But then why are you even validating her like that? Just do it. Just do it when you see her if you want to do it. But why are you putting her on a pedestal and damn, I want to do this. I'm going to do this to you. She got a million dudes doing that, King. And it makes you look weak. It makes you look like all the rest of them. But it really makes you look worse because at least the rest, at least they're willing to pay for their simping. You want her to pay for you to simp. And some people may say, well, actually, he's he really moving right because he ain't paying for it. He's saying, shit, you want this done? You better come, you better find your way out here to do it. No, he's not because he's simping. It no matter how you slice it, you're simping. Imagine, let me tell you like this. Imagine I tell a girl right now, hey, can you fly out here to LA and I'll worship you? But I'm not going to pay your ticket. You got to pay your own ticket out here. But when you get here, I'm going to worship you. Would you be like, well, that's alpha because he ain't paying her ticket, though. Yeah, he going to worship her, but he ain't paying her ticket. So that's alpha still. No, you shouldn't even be in that situation. So how he's behaving is beta and simpish because he's telling this complete stranger he want to eat her out. He don't even know her, but he's coming off as a bum. He's not coming off as alpha. He's coming off as a bum because and I think she even said something similar in the in the comments of even though she's a bum herself, but I'm just saying like, I don't respect simps at all. I don't respect tricks at all. But I will say this. The most I can give points to is a sugar daddy or a trick who says, hey, look, I make money and this is what I want to spend my money on. And I'm going to fly her out here to do what I'm going to do, which is simp. Over the guy who wants to simp just like that trick, but he want a handout. He don't want to pay for it or, you know what I'm saying? Because it's no in between with that like with me i'm not doing none of that it's none of that's taking place period so it's not like oh you pay your way to get here for me to simp for you no i'm not even gonna be in that situation so once you put yourself in a simp situation which he did by validating this stranger and telling her what he want to do to her by putting his lips on her he don't even know where her vagina's been then you gotta follow through with that king at least be a man and man enough to say man i want to do this to this girl so i'm at least gonna put my money where my mouth is no pun intended and pay for this girl to get out here so i can do this to her i respect that more as a man i just would because i'll be at least that's a man who knows what he wants. I don't agree with what he, how he's going about it, but I got to respect a man who works hard for his money to say, hey, some people may spend their money on fast food. I'm going to spend my money on being a simp at the least. But I can't respect somebody who wants to simp. Like I said, this is for the guys that are simping, not the guys who are not simping. For the guys that are simp, who wants to simp, but then get mad at a girl when she treats you like a trick or she treats you like a simp. Then get mad at her. Oh, y'all women. Like I told him, I said, King, you're judging her, looking down on her when she's on a dating app. But you say, y'all say y'all know female nature. What do you think she's on this app for? She's either on this app to fuck she, or she's on this app to get attention and get paid. So if you can't contribute none of that, then you're not benefiting her because she has options. This is just the reality. Women have more options than men. So what I mean by that is why would she pay her way to get some dick from you when she can get dick anywhere? She's going to pay to come get some dick from you when she got a million guys willing to come to her to give her dick? Now, do y'all see what I'm saying? I'm talking that real female nature right here. Do y'all see what I'm getting at now? She's going to pay... That lets me know you don't know female nature. It ain't even like, okay, your dick is amazing. You dicked her down before and she just sprung. Like, you don't even know this girl. So she can get there and the sex could be whack. Doesn't work like that. Oh, we supposed to go half if you feeling me and I'm feeling you. I told him, I said, King, you shaming girls and trying to make girls feel bad for what they're they're doing on a dating app, what they're sp supposed to do. That's what the dating app is there for. Plain and simple. She's saying, if you want to do this to me, then pay for me to get there so you can do this to me. And she's straightforward. See, I wouldn't even be in that position to begin with. Like I told him, 
myself, when I used to be on dating apps, I used to reach out to girls that was close to me so we can meet up. And if they wasn't willing to meet up, then I did the conversation and I move on to the next. That's it. It's no flying you out here and all this because we gonna be in the same city or at least a city right up where I can get close to you or you can get close to me. And if we can't do that, then it's nothing to talk about. But I'm not finna lecture her on how she don't know what she missed out on because she ain't gonna meet up with me. And that's beta. That's beta, okay? You trying to make her feel bad because she didn't choose you. Ultimately, that's what it is. Oh, you missed out. You, you should have chose. You, she got a million dudes that want to eat her out. Like I said, the difference between you and them other dudes is they're more willing to put in the work for what they want. Them simps are willing to put in work. Them simps saying, I'll pull up to you to eat you out. You saying, I'll eat you out, but you got to find a way out here for me to do it. Stop it, King. So, you know, this was just a quick video. And I still rock with you, King. This is not a diss video or anything like that. If you're watching this video, I rock with y'all. I love y'all. I'm just trying to tell y'all. Stop saying y'all know female nature. But then when y'all send me DMs and send me messages, emotional behind a woman, you know, first of all, you know, half you guys to say you know female nature are bitter and angry at women which lets me know you don't know female nature go read the way of the superior man you can't be angry at something behaving what's in their nature let me repeat that you can't be angry at something that is behaving what's in their nature and what this means is i would never be angry at a dog for walking on four legs why would i i would never be angry at a newborn baby for crying this is why i say don't be bitter be better it's because i'm so aware of female nature that i it's nothing they can do to make me angry anymore because I expect it all. I know what's in their nature to do. I know how pergamy is in their nature. If she can do better, she will. So therefore, I'm not living in a fantasy world in delusion to where if a woman's dealing with me, I'm naive or, you know, living in this fantasy world to believe that, oh, even if her celebrity crush wanted her today, oh no, she still won't choose me. No, I expect her to go. So if that day ever really came, I'm not going to be messed up like you're messed up because I truly understand, I truly understand female nature. So when you truly understand female nature, you don't feel the need to shame women or bash women or be angry at women because you know it's just how they are. Until next time, Alpha Sensitive Salute.